Thank you and good afternoon. I'm Michael Hoffman, Enterprise Sales Director with Spirion or Fleet Locate Product. And sitting next to me is uh, Belinda Rufer, who is our Director of Product Marketing. So today we're going to introduce Spirion and the Fleet Locate product, and we're also going to introduce some market uh, disrupting technology that we just developed specifically for the trailer space. So for those of you that are not familiar with Spirion, um, we are based in Irvine, California. We are known as the uh, North America's largest provider, non-OEM provider of GPS telematics equipment for, uh, for fleet vehicles. So we just hit 3.75 million active black box subscriptions on all kinds of vehicles. So we have 450 employees, all dedicated to doing nothing other than GPS tracking and asset tracking and asset optimization platforms. So, the market verticals that we serve are the automotive marketplace with um, uh, new car and franchise dealerships, uh, subprime lenders, and also user-based insurance. On the fleet side, we serve uh, many different fleet uh, applications, including hours of service. A couple of years ago, we struck up a partnership with uh, GM for their OnStar data. So if any fleet has a GM vehicle in their fleet, they can simply push the little blue button on their uh, rearview mirror, and then their vehicle is automatically included in our, our back-end uh, telematic system. So I want to introduce uh, how we got into the trailer space roughly seven years ago. Um, if you're not familiar with uh, uh, Joe Gibbs, Joe Gibbs is the former uh, four-time winning, uh, Super Bowl winning coach with the Washington Redskins. He also uh, now is a four-time winner in the NASCAR circuit with his Joe Gibbs racing team. So Joe came to us right out seven years ago and said, hey, I need to track my haulers. I got very high value equipment on those haulers. I need to know where they are at all times. Um, Joe liked our story so much and liked our product so much that he became a keynote speaker for us and he also became a strategic investor and partner with us. And he was nice enough to open up his entire book of business to us and the first customer that he walked us into was Coca-Cola or now Red Classic Transportation. Red Classic um, shared with us, we basically had a whiteboard. They said, hey, listen, the trailer telematics space has been littered with providers that are providing very low data, one to two pings a day that's only good for a daily yard check. It's a once a day snapshot. There's no return on investment. There's very poor hardware reliability, low data, and, and not a whole lot of information that we can get off the trailers. Their very first requirement of us was trailer mileage off their trailers. They wanted to apply the same type of tele telematics data that they got from their in-cab device to their trailer. So that was uh, our first requirement was mileage. Since all of our devices, all 3.75 million devices sit on cellular networks, we can pass a high volume of data through those networks. So every device is built with a built-in accelerometer. When that trailer's in motion, we sample latitude and longitude every second for turn-by-turn -turn GPS mileage. That was seven years ago, and that was really the birthplace of big data on trailers um, through the, the, the relationship with Red Classic Transportation. Um, so that that when we started seven years ago, we had zero trailers under management. I'm um, pretty proud to announce that uh, tomorrow we're going to send out a press release that we just hit our 200,000 trailer under management in less than seven years. The reason we're doing that is not only we're providing big data and rich data, but also very accurate data for our customers consume. And we wrap a highly engaged account management team, including a sales engineer and a client account manager around our enterprise level customers to ensure that they're consuming the data and they're using it to get better, faster, cheaper, more profitable. One of the data elements that we found throughout the years that's extremely important into trucking fleets is cargo sensing data. But cargo sensing data has been historically not accurate. Uh, Experion and the other telematics vendors to date are sending, a, we ship a uh, ultrasonic technology that uses echolocation to, to sense cargo. Um, you're looking at roughly 80 to 90 percent accuracy using ultrasonic technology. That is simply not good enough, especially when you're dispatching drivers to a trailer that's supposed to be empty and that trailer's loaded. The driver loses confidence in the data, the dispatcher loses confidence in the data, and so do all the other operations people inside the organization. If they lose confidence in the data, big data is irrelevant. 
they stop using the data and your ROI tanks. So roughly two years ago, we challenged our engineers to come up with a different hardware platform that we are releasing in the next 60 days. That hardware platform is called our IntelliScan cargo sensor. It'll be the industry's first uh, multi-mode cargo sensor. So it's two different uh, modules essentially on the same, on the same box used to, to, to scan cargo. The first one is a time of flight laser. So think of a Tom Cruise movie when he drops into the bank vault and there's lasers shooting all over the place. When he breaks the plane of one of those lasers, it sets off the alarm. The same thing in the trucking space. We're mounted about 30 inches off the deck of the floor so we can pick up palletized steel and those types of things. But we shoot a laser array out on the trailer so that we know that any cargo is in its way. We've combined that with an imaging cargo sensor as well. So it includes a camera in there as well. We primarily developed that um, to offset the, the laser to make sure that we were highly accurate. But uh, the secondary benefit was for our LTL uh, fleets that have not adopted trailer tracking. So not only will this cargo sensor will be able to tell you with 99.9% .9 accuracy of whether you got cargo in the back of the trailer or not, it's also going to be able to do, tell you that you have a loaded trailer, but it's going to tell you how loaded the trailer is. So it'll give you a percentage of the load. For, so for the LTL marketplace, they could care less about a loaded or empty trailer. They want to know how full the trailer is. And so they can properly adjust their line haul expense and properly cube out the trailers based upon uh, the, the, the capacity of the trailer. So Spirion has really escalated the, the, the marketplace in regards to uh, you know, next level adoption of trailer tracking and especially in regards to cargo sensing technology. Thank you.